Hello, everybody. We are back. This time, the number 17 ranked Old Dominion Monarchs take the road to Death Valley and the 2 and 2 Clemson Tigers. And as we look here, Old Dominion is currently playing in the toughest conference in the country, the ACC, ranked number one. The SEC a little bit behind there with the Big Ten, Pac-12 falling up. And yes, the Mountain West currently ranks ahead of the Big 12, interestingly enough. Old Dominion's old conference, the Conference USA, all the way down at 9 out of 10. Certainly a big upgrade, and this ACC is relentless. It is a very tough conference to succeed in Clemson in the middle of their division Old Dominion tied at the top of the division with Miami but it's still early in the conference season so anything can happen look at this coastal division look at the top 17 four teams ranked 17 or better in this division that's how good these teams are so far this season it's going to be a tough one here one of the great traditions in college football touching that rock there at Clemson a big one big deal for those in South Carolina. There's Brad Hill, number two, the starting quarterback. He's a junior out of North Carolina. I'm going to have to watch out for him. He's a bit of a dual threat. And this team runs a very up-tempo offense. So the Old Dominion defense has had to do a lot to prepare for a lot of plays that will be run against them. But ODU in the all-white will be starting off with the ball today in Dixon get stuffed there. That's Clemson's game plan is stop number 22. Make Kemp beat you with his arm because he's been suspect so far this season. A look at this pressure from both sides. Kemp has nowhere to go and he runs backwards. Very, very poor decision there. That's going to kill the drive, but Old Dominion survives defensively and gets the ball right back. So Joshua Kemp, chance to redeem himself, keeping the ball. Look at the tough running here, nine yards. Could have been stopped for a loss, but instead makes the most of it. Kemp now looking for Dixon on the screen, and look at this block. What an incredible block. They got more yards for number 22, the star player of this team. They want to keep feeding him the ball here. Hand off to Dixon on the right side. Look at the blocks. Todd Jackson, a nice block upfield there. The receivers doing their job. For their number one, the running back there. Third and four now. Kemp going to look for the end zone. He was looking for Reese in the back, but didn't see the defender in front. So Tommy Patrick nails a field goal from 26 yards out to give ODU the early 3-0 lead here. McIntyre, though, fumbles the ball. Brian Moore strips it out. Reggie Bolin, who has had an amazing season considering his inexperience, his youth, his size has been huge. But look, the senior linebacker, the heart of this defense, Brian Moore, he wasn't highly recruited, he wasn't highly rated, but he has had a fantastic season as well. Third and four, Dixon busted up on this play. Excellent defense. Fourth down, and it'll be another Tommy Patrick field goal attempt here. He's got the wind at his back, and that's easy enough for him. 6 nothing. Old Dominion leads here. First down for Brad Hill, looking to pass. Now he's got his man wooded over the middle. Jeff Robinson just a little bit late in coverage there. Able to make the tackle, though, second and ten. J.B. Concepcion, the outstanding running back that Clemson has. He's been uh, quite productive for his team throughout his career. Second and 11, now it's Preston Lane, a very talented wide receiver as well. This is a good offense. Don't, don't mind the 2-2 two two record because they have... Exploded on offense this season. First and goal in that play. Brian Moore again. Heart and soul of this defense. Third and goal now. Shotgun formation. What will Clemson pull out here to try and get into the end zone? Hill's got a man open. Lane trying to one-hand it. Instead, drops it. Trying to make the pretty catch. Can't do it. 6-3 to three now is the score as we enter the second quarter. Joshua Kemp at the 25-yard line in Clemson territory. Going to take a shot. Todd Jackson, touchdown, 25-yard strike. Kemp made some changes at the line before the play. He saw a mismatch here, and he got it spot on. Perfect throw, perfect catch. You couldn't ask for any better from the Kemp to Jackson connection, both Oklahoma natives there. 13-3. Things are looking pretty good for ODU so far. And look at that. Chad Robinson gets the running back in the backfield. They would convert on third down there and keep the drive going here. So second and ten, Hill 
Setting up to throw to his running back there. Takes a shot, but he'll gladly take that hit for a first down. Second and eight going, so no huddle as usual. The fast-paced offense of the Tigers here finds Preston Lane. He's the number one target. They've got to cover him well if Old Dominion wants to have any chance of winning this game. And so far, it's been rough going here. JB Concepcion, look at the run. He scores from 10 yards out. Clemson certainly feeling like they've got a little bit of momentum now. Home crowd behind them. How well do you respond now? Only up by three. Hand off to Dixon going up the middle. Dixon, plenty of room to run. Shakes off a tackler. And this is why he is one of the best in the country, if not the best running back in all of college football. Touchdown, David Dixon. One of his huge runs. It's become a trademark for him. And breaking off that tackle was very impressive. 20 to 10 now is the score. Hawkins catches it. Looks like Preston Lane was right there. Both wanted to make the catch. Only one came down with it. That's all they needed, though. Hill on a little play action. Going to take a shot for the end zone. Jeff Robinson getting up there. Using that height, using those hops. Knocking the ball away. Third and seven now here as we are approaching halftime here. Under three minutes to go. Justin Weddle intercepts it. Jumping the route, and that was intended for the star receiver, Preston Lane. Weddle comes up huge. The native out of Maine. He just saw this perfectly. He just read that like a book. And a chance for ODU to extend the lead before halftime. Kemp in a little play action here. Shakes off a sack, but he's met by a host of orange. Drive killer right there. Under two minutes to go until halftime. Hill looking deep, and he's only got one man. It's Reggie Bullen. Too bad he couldn't have uh, kept his feet there and got the interception. But now ODU gets the ball, third and two. What will they do here? Kemp rolling out, now finds Lawrence Reese, a spin move! Lawrence Reese, down, keep it going, 10, 5, shaking off tacklers into the end zone. What an effort by Lawrence Reese. He's not a speed burner, but the physicality and just the sheer effort on this play was incredible. The spin move, out of nowhere. He's not very good with the spin moves, but what a play to give Old Dominion the 27 to 10 lead. That's a spirit breaker if you're Clemson. That's tough to take right before halftime. He'll get sacked by who else but Chad Robinson. That takes us to halftime. And Old Dominion in control now despite a little bit of a shaky start. A couple of plays here or there, but man, the big plays are on display today. David Dixon, the big run. Todd Jackson... The uh, beautiful pass from Kemp. And, of course, that Lawrence Reese play was unbelievable. And the key stat here, no turnovers for Old Dominion, two turnovers for Clemson. That is hugely important because the big story for Old Dominion over the past several seasons has been turnovers, especially in big games. And uh, turning the ball over a lot. And so far, winning the turnover battle has been huge. There's Charles Barber to stop Concepcion in the backfield. Third down and seven upcoming near midfield here. A little play action going to hit McIntyre right away. McIntyre had the fumble earlier, but he holds on this time for 13 yards. Drive stays alive. Hill, another passing play. They sure like to whip the ball around, despite having a very talented running back. They're very much involved in the passing game here. Thomas, the backup running back, gets, gets the play here a few yards, and that'll set up a third and goal situation here. Old Dominion looking for a big defensive stand here, but Hill on the option keeper. Oh, man, he caught the defense off guard there. They, they weren't expecting him to keep it on that play, yet he did. 27-17 is the score now. Dixon gets the handoff on the next drive. A nice effort, 11 yards. He is having a very nice game. Third and inches now. Pistol formation. Kemp hands it off. Dixon, another big run. He is having a great day and a chance to boost his Heisman chances here. Kemp looking to throw. Didn't really like what he saw. He's just going to take off. That's how run some defenders. Steps out of bounds. Gets 11 yards. A nice job there. Josh Silva comes on the field and going to run a little option. Fake pitches working. Nice job there. First and goal. Kemp back on the field looking to pass on the play action, but it goes nowhere. Another sack for this defense. 
Hand off to Dixon on second down. Trucks a defender and just short of the goal line. He stopped. What a run. Third and goal and about half a yard away. I was going to run a little play action here and probably should have just ran the ball because there was a hole to run through right there and they were ready for the play action. So Tommy Patrick will settle for the easy field goal. 30-17, but Old Dominion gets the ball right back under center. Josh Kemp going to drop back the pass, and it's the fullback Kevin Wesley. You don't see this guy too much anymore, but boy, when he comes in, he can make an impact. He's a very good blocker as well, very underrated. Pistol formation for Kemp now. Can't find anybody, just goes backwards again. Another sack. That ends the drive. ODU still leading by 13 points here. Hill on a little option. Keeper though looking to, to flip the script here. What a run. Gets to midfield. Number two does a great job there. He is deceptively quick. Second and seven. Looking to throw. Has Preston Lane, his favorite target, ripped down by Jeff Robinson. But they get the first down. Keeps the drive. Pushing along. Second and three. It's Woodard for the touchdown. And Clemson are right back in this game. Nearly 300 yards of passing for Brad Hill. Still not even midway through the fourth quarter here. Kemp going to run a little option here. Shakes off a tackle. Going to bunch it out to the outside. Joshua Kemp, what a run he has down the sideline. One man to beat. He still won't go down. And it looked like he was going to be stopped right there. Instead, he holds on. And a great block on the outside by, looks like Brandon Ellison, gave Kemp the edge for a massive run. Wow, what a play. First and ten from Ellison here on the catch. Gets rewarded for outstanding blocking on that last play. Keep it going. Third and seven now. Shotgun formation. Kent making some changes at the line. Hoping to catch the defense off guard now. Looking to throw. Finds Keith McCarthy. A name you're not going to hear very much this season. He's pretty low on the uh, receiving depth chart. He's pretty young. But he makes a touchdown catch there to give Old Dominion the 37-24 lead. And there's Chad Robinson stopping the running back. No gain. Third and five upcoming. And Old Dominion can really put this one away if they can get a stop here. Hill looking, throws out of bounds. I don't know where that pass was going, but it's fourth down. Three minutes to go. They are going to go for it. They've got to close this gap. Preston Lane in coverage manages to make the catch. And they stay alive. Three timeouts Clemson still has. So they still have plenty of opportunities to tie this one up. Going deep. It's Hawkins into the end zone. Jeff Robinson just a little too slow. And that's exactly what Clemson needed. A quick strike. They got it. And they're within six now with the extra point. 37-31. Under two minutes to go. One timeout for Clemson. All Old Dominion needs to do is get one first down. Scott Sullivan gets that. Juke move gets him into the first down. Old Dominion will hold on here. Backup quarterback Adam Norton takes a knee. That's game. 37-31 Old Dominion holds on despite a pretty solid effort to come back by the Clemson Tigers. The most important stat in this game, no turnovers. Old Dominion forced a couple turnovers and did not turn the ball over once themselves. And that is the biggest thing to take away from this game. Look at that. Joshua Kemp, 12 of 20, 152 yards, three touchdowns and no interceptions. Yes, he was sacked five times, but take five sacks over five interceptions any day. Dixon, 158 yards and a touchdown. What a day. Todd Jackson, three catches, 41 yards, and a touchdown. Just very, very good performance. The defense could have been a little bit better, but Brian Moore, 14 tackles. Good grief. I mean, when I recruited this guy, I didn't really think he was ever going to become a starter, to be honest. Um, I just more had him there for depth chart purposes, you know, just in case a uh, random injury or something weird would happen. Um, but he's really turned out, you know, be quite the uh, middle linebacker and one of the stars of the defense this season so far. Tommy Patrick, 3 for 3 in the field goal department. Pretty good performance. I mean, definitely defense could have been better. You know, look at the yardage we gave up through the air. But uh, forced a couple turnovers, made some plays. 
so not too shabby. Uh, Hawkins and Lane definitely did well tearing up the secondary, but in the end got the W. That's all that matters, and staying undefeated in conference play. That's 3-0 and now in the ACC, and it's kind of a reverse of what happened last season where it was 0-3. Couldn't catch a break in the first uh, ACC games in Old Dominion's history, but now in this season... It's really turned around. Things are looking really nice. Kemp had, you know, one of his better games. Dixon did a great job. Defense did what they needed to do. There it is. Yeah, 500 yards of total offense from Clemson. That's something you don't want to do every game is give up that much offense. But there it is. Plus two in the turnover department. Very important. Time of possession there, 20 minutes to 12. And now Old Dominion... We'll look ahead to one of the biggest games of the season against Georgia Tech. But before we get to that, two offensive linemen, a left guard and right guard, Tyson Johnson, Nate Bridges, have committed. That's very important to things going forward. I really like what these two bring to the table. Four-star Tyson Johnson out of San Juan, Texas. Very balanced offensive lineman, as you can see. You know, 79 run back, 79 pass block. You know, across the board, pretty good. Nate Bridges... Three stars out of Reserve, Louisiana, 6'6", 298. He's a little bit more of a, a run blocker, and I like that. I, I want to try and gear this team a little bit more towards the run game, as it, that's kind of been the philosophy all along. So, um, But I still want good quarterback, good receivers, everybody to be able to do their job, whether we're a run team or a pass team, either way. Here it is. Number 14, Old Dominion, 6-1, taking on number 8, Georgia Tech who's 5-1, and one, and this one will be in Atlanta. You all remember what happened last season. Georgia Tech was ranked number one, and Old Dominion pulled off the massive upset. But now ODU has to go on the road in a tough environment in Atlanta, Georgia. It's going to be the game of the week in the ACC. I will see you all then. It will be a massive one against Georgia Tech. <laughs> 